Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. I think I finally fixed OBS a little bit. I full screen might still crash, but before we do that, let's go through all the follows that were missed because the tracker was broken for like almost a week. Thank you, Shaggywara, A Game Fox, Scribe86, X by Who, Frostvic G. You're wide open. And Everado 100. Also, I think I skipped one. Mariak, Boofy One, and You're Daddy for Show. Open. Okay, so that I think is officially everybody. So there's a lot of follows. Unfortunately, as I said before, the tracker has been dead. <laughs> I, I basically uninstalled, reinstalled, because it was just that dead. But anyway. When it comes to trials, we should be just coming up to what is normally a difficulty jump in the original game. Uh, but that doesn't really exist in this open. one, so I think we'll be fine. I don't think any of the other bosses are anything to be concerned about. You're wide open. So many follows, Sean. So I'm going to hope when we go to switch scenes, the stream does not crash. As I did not get a chance to check between yesterday and today. Moment of truth. Will you crash? Okay. Behave today. That's always a good sign. So many follows. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. You're wide open! It will eventually let me update. You're wide open! It's like, do you want to download updates for your games now? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna You're go with no. Open. Okay, let's see if it behaves itself here. See, we're just giving time for the follows to go through. That's a good sign. I think that's the last one. Let's go ahead and pause. And go back into the game. Oh, I went back to Mario. That's right. Gonna take a little bit. Also, I'm gonna make sure before we go too much further. I don't want to have PSO controls on. I do not have PSO controls on. Nice. Hopefully in a moment you'll see the game. Or not. Oh, OBS. Why do you fight me so? We can all roll our eyes. When you do absolutely nothing between sessions and the game is like, nah. <laughs> Let's see if it behaves itself now. There we go. Just roll your eyes, Chan. But anyway, let's see, where were we? Why is there such a discrepancy between the auto save? Oh, because I was going to the... Did I not save after the Fiery Gorge? I mean, I could just load from the auto save. I guess I only saved on the way out. That's fair. We'll take the time loss. I think that's when we went to the Oblivion and then tried flipping out of bounds. Or tried glitching the animation. It's fun. This brings me maybe closer to my destination. So I gotta go up, I think? Oh, never mind. I gotta go down. That's right. We didn't do the uh, Moonlight Town yet. I was ready. I was ready to go to the jungle, and I'm like, wait a minute, we can't do that right away. Shadow Sanity, save Busca. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Where was the cactus in Mintis? I 
was worried when we heard beastmen lived here, but they aren't doing any harm. The townsfolk seem friendly. I found it. I was like, I kind of remember it being near the inn. So that's number 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27. Okay. Oh, it had the number at the top, but I still counted. It. It's okay, chat. At least our math skills are working. Eyes, not so much. Welcome, Dango. Yeah, I saw you were up pretty late, Chris. I was like, oh no. I definitely slept a little bit too long after work. I was f really feeling it. Plus side, tomorrow, no early start. So we should be somewhat okay for tomorrow. Apparently, Altina forces were heading into the woods. We can't let him get away. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just open the basic chest. I don't know if it matters. Like, it's more just picking up money. I don't really want to say no to money. He can deed. That is barely an upgrade over what I'm using. I think I could skip that. Oh, good choice. Good work. Choice. Her having 10 more magic damage, I think, is important. It's not so much the melee as it is the magic there. <laughs> Come again. I think I'll be okay doing two less damage a hit. Wow, look at that stat difference. <clears throat> Good choice. Good. You know what, just, just for the game, I'll go buy that armor out of pity. Sure, I'll move out of basic defense. So he's by far the tankiest character. He's got doubled the defense of Angela. Honestly, his magic resistance is also kind of high. I think due to him having spirit. I uh, don't think there's anything else I really care about here. We'll just move on. We'll talk to the unique characters, though. I don't like this dark forest. I'm not scared. I just don't like it. Thank you, uh, Charlotte. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I like the music for this area, so I'll let the intro rock. We can find the moonstone in this forest for sure. Finally gonna get some payback for what those beastmen did. I'll pick up items if I see them. Not expecting much, though. Come on. That's some big damage, actually. So yeah, she's out damaging my power swing, which is good. I want her to. I doubt I can clip up here. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm a liar. Ignore me. I was remembering we jumped up here last time. That much I remembered. I did remember we jumped up a rock. We did not clip up the floor this time. Well, anyway, I think last time we also went the wrong way, so we're just gonna go the wrong way again. I guess some things never change, chat. Whether you clip or jump up the rock normally and go up the unintended direction. Um, this should be fine for now. Oh, they're level 31. I don't think that's gonna help them. I'm pretty well geared. And again, I think with all of Angela's damage reductions, and they have a weakness to it, it seems. Her damage is very high. Oh, I can't reach it from this side due to the wall. It's unfortunate. Oh, I got hit once. Rip the XP. Only 
bolt's not doing bad damage. And again, I think with her reductions, she's only spending 3 MP a spell. So the fact that she has 71 MP means she's basically infinite as we walk around. So if I were to... Change her stuff briefly. If I get rid of Limit Break, and I do Victory MP, I think that helps with casual movement. Maybe we'll stick to that. So that way, I mean, on average, she's maybe spending 6 MP a battle. I think with how cheap her abilities are, it's like a free spell every battle. That's not too bad. If we get any other MP reducers, I could technically give it to Charlotte instead. But for boss battles, I'll switch it back to damage. 5% I don't think super matters damage-wise at the moment. Maybe only for bosses. Two revives, that's good. Wow, what a what a treasure trove of items. I'd be one over here. Oh, there's even a healing statue over there. That's kind of unfair. That's not what I wanted him to do, but that's fine. Didn't I tell the other character to protect? Why is she not healing? Hello? I I'm checking their AI again. I'm like, wait a minute. Did you seriously just let her go down to like 10% health? Oh, you might be at 50% MP. Um, Let's bump up your MP usage a little more. She might literally- yeah, she might have passed 50%, I was gonna say. I don't want her to be at 100% yet. When we get another class upgrade, I'll move into 100. Let's not go the way the game wants us to go, let's go this way. So if I remember there was like near the bridge to the kingdom, there was another cactus. Rixian saying hello, been a while. It's Lake and Alert, but wanted to say hello. Welcome, Rexian. Hopefully you've been doing well. Enjoy the lurk. Oh, we are bodying the werewolf. Hmm. Are we intended to be able to come back up here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think with the little lip, I don't think I could clip up there. That feeling when the AI just pushes them out of your range, that's so rude. Also, did I not tell them to use class strikes? Oh, I did. They're just refusing to use it. Oh, okay. You know, I thought it was I thought it was going crazy again, chat. I'm like, oh, no, no, they're just I'm sitting at 300% and not using the basic ones. That's fine. I guess 300% is 50% uh, of whatever they think it is. Oh, AI, one day. Go back to actually dashing. I'm on the job. Oh no. Maybe we should just run away. Is she really not gonna do it? That sucks. You wish. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to do her cancels. I think because she leaps. Just does kind of weird things with her animations. By low level. Get most of my meter back. Good healing. Yeah, I think with the healer and this much stat usage, I think we're okay for a bit. That reminds me. Need more of your MP. Actually, I think it's fine for Angela to use all of her MP. I'd rather she do that. The healer I might need to manually heal every now and then, so I'd rather her not burn it on, like, attack spells, if that makes sense. So leaving at least 25% is probably fine. Um... I don't know which one I want at the moment. I probably want to keep leveling Spirit at some point. I guess? To make her heal stronger. I'm not really gonna regret that per se. I, I don't really care what his MP usage is there. Let's put her at 100% actually. Right now we're not quite at the point I want them to use our healing items. I could tell Angela to potentially use them. I'd rather Charlotte use her magic for healing. That's kind of what I'm hoping they do. Game, how was that? And how is that what I was targeting? <laughs> Him, please. Hello, other little cactus. So we've almost unlocked new items at the night market. gonna say remember this place is Kevin chat it's sad that Durin doesn't really unlock any unique areas like Hawkeye gets his own village we get Loren as uh Reese Durin just gets his own house wait no he can't even go in his own house actually having him makes you go have access to less places wait <laughs> Durin's the worst John Ooh, the one shot is real. So if I feel like bullying them via menu, she's not bad. Their intelligence is max, that's all I really care about. I don't have a reason to raise spirit. Luck. I don't think I care about random cost downs. Magic recoil. I don't know if I really care about unlocking these, honestly. I think I might skip these. Strength and stamina don't really make sense, unless there's some really crazy buff leader. So, I don't think I need anything there. Against bosses, I don't necessarily need break armor, technically. But having counter and counter two, I think is good enough for us for now. So when, sh when the AI is actually chaining spells like that, they're kind of useful. So it's nice that if I tell her to be more aggressive with spells, she is actually spell slinging a bit more. I think it really matters where I save here. Take over this one again. Yeah, so far, it feels like we're pretty strong, even for hard mode. Like, we're still technically underleveled by three levels. But I think Chad would agree, it doesn't really feel like it. Especially with that damage. Okay, 
Okay, we got a lot of cures. How are we doing item-wise? I could carry his cookie. Technically, his stamina is I could use. I could just refuse to use these, honestly. Just to show that we don't need RNG items. Although, ironically, still using the silver items. Why did they both walk into that? Yeah, like, look look how little MP that used for her. Once she gets another class up, her spells are basically going to be free. She'll be useful. Honestly, if all we did was teach them Lucid Beam and Holy Bowl, I'm kind of okay with that versus Elemental Strikes. Wait, how did she die? But, oh, okay. Well, so much for Charlotte protecting our companions, right, chat? Thanks, Charlotte. Oh, so that feeling when Charlotte actually is more HP than the mage, despite being a uh, lower level. That's pretty bad. Oh, we'll find that extra special mana statue in the future. Remember, there was a little cactus, like, literally on the top floor, so we don't have to worry too much about it. It's just more do I feel like collecting items as we go up, which, again, we don't really need. <laughs> just money. I'd prefer to get the money. Literally nothing else. <laughs> you had no chance of defeating me! <laughs> oh, that was satisfying! Ah. Oh, don't bother with those pesky Altanans. I'll take care of this mess. Ludger, please do return to the palace. Mm, yum, yum. What a veritable feast of souls for me today. <laughs> <laughs> delicious, delicious. I'd love to gobble them both up, but I suppose I must send one off to the masked mage. <sighs> Our stores have run low, after all. We need many more souls to perform the forbidden magic if we intend to open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Can't let my master know that I'm taking my own share of the spoils. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the no good prince of Herolia, have you returned home so soon? Lies! You lied! Said I could bring Carl back to life! <laughs> Fool! You are the one who fell for the falsehood! Such an innocent soul. You must taste sublime. Oh, I'm so glad I turned that wolf pup Carl against you. my midnight snack. Shall I finish you off? Just like your friend Carl. <laughs> ha. Finish you off in one go. Stop right there. 
have you no manners? Can you not see you're interrupting my meal? Ah! You! You are the weirdo who stole Heath away! Where is he? Where did you send him? Give him back right now, you! You meanie! Ah! Where did this pipsqueak come from? Oh, wait, 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 wait. With that twerp hanging around that fellow from Wendell. <laughs> oh, uh, he's fine, dear. Huh? Th then where is he? Well, by fine, I mean we've poisoned him with dark energy. Now he works for my master, Masked Mage, as the evil priest tainted soul. I just knew he had potential. Now Tainted Soul is second only to me in power at my master's court, Mirage Palace. No! That can't be true! Not Heath! No! Ah! I don't have time for crying babies. You can join the princeling in my belly. Wait! I'll take care of them. I thought I saw that half-beast man traitor Kevin in the forest. I am not letting him get away from me! First, I'll get rid of this filth. You can help me warm up for the main events! <laughs> Lovely! Be my guest. Make Luca cry like a baby, true. I don't think we'll get the bonus damage versus him. Like, remember how last time we beat him? But I think it's because we had Kevin. You need to worry too much about damage here. The beast man who had me thrown in jail. Ugh, I was... Hmm. I'll do this to use it. Did she seriously use another element to... Let's see how much I could stack this. I have a walnut in here, right? Yeah. Oh, we counterattack there. That was new. I don't think it's gonna help him very much, but he could try.
Well, we we way to not block that AI. Please stop using Evil Gate when you can just use Lucent Beam. That's actually messing up our damage. Hmm, he's almost in. Why are you going in and meleeing? You have so much MP. Uh, let's buff her magic again. Purple drink it every time she eeked. It would be a lot. Wow, he just got ended by melee Charlotte. Wow, chat, that's embarrassing. That that is a bad way to lose a fight. He got bodied. I think I had to heal like once for myself. He barely hit me. It was kinda sad. Ludger. Kevin. I always hated you. Born a prince and specially trained in hand to hand combat by the king himself since you were young. Luger? I wanted the king to teach me what he taught you so badly. I, I loathed you and your good fortune. In the end, I was just another beast guard, nothing more, no matter how hard I wished. Mm. But you, you hated fighting, all that talent wasted. I, I couldn't forgive that. You had everything I wanted and you didn't even care. I wasn't gonna lose to such a worthless prince. And yet... Luger... You are strong. Strong enough to be king. The same as me. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Just... Keep getting stronger. Maybe... In my next life... I'll be able to defeat you. Don't you dare lose before then. Got quieter while shouting. I like we just kind of witnessed that. We have like no context for any of that. <laughs> it's the other people. Yorana, we're like, the elemental of the moon. we're like, so that was awkward. Yes, I've been waiting for your arrival. I will grant you my power. Luna! Help Ludger! Please, help! I'm afraid all I can do is grant his final wish. <laughs> this is still one of the worst plot the points of all time. To save him is to give him another chance in his next life. He will now be reincarnated. What? The baby is Ludger? Yes. He will grow big and strong and one day come to challenge you again. Okay. Baby Ludger, I'll wait. Challenge me anytime. 
Chat says B validating. Kevin's entire story is the worst plot points. You're not wrong. He definitely is the worst story. Um, is he going to be okay in the forest all alone? He's just a baby. Oh. Babies are raised in the wild. The forest creatures take care of them uh, until they are grown. Don't worry. He, he is safe. It is the Beast Man way. Where is the Mana Stone, Luna? The Moonstone is on the first floor of this tower. Mages from Altaina came to try and activate its power, but Ludger and his guards managed to protect it. Then, it's still inactive! Hmm. But that weirdo Goromon from before is in the tower now. We should go after him, just in case. Thank you asking, is that how baby is formed? Stay nearby, in the forest. Keep other beastmen away from here. Good luck. Indeed. Yeah, see that? I don't think we got the boss upgrade. So if we don't play with Kevin... Going down. He took Heath away. We don't actually get the 20% damage versus bosses. That kind of sucks. So the only way you would acquire that is like a new game plus, essentially. Hope you're doing well, Kirk. Don't keep me waiting. Hmm. Doing a little wiggle. Doing the wiggle chat. <laughs> anyway, we should get the cactus on the first floor. We can't get the other one until later. It's like one of the doors here. It's so strange to see the moonstone just sitting here in the middle of a tower. I'm pretty sure this stone is the reason why it's always night in the surrounding forest. Hmm. These mana stones are so freaky. Hey, wasn't Gormond or whatever in here? I don't see him. Oh, that man was pure evil. I felt it. But I don't feel anything right now. He must have left. I would be able to tell if he was still nearby. Hmm. I guess that guy is also after the Sword of Mana. Just Wait, what happened to Charlotte's eye? Horrible Ew. Belladonna. We definitely aren't the only ones looking for it. <sighs> we can't let them have it. We've come so far. Let's find that last elemental. Come on! Hmm. We still have to look for Dryad, the wood elemental. The Hero King suggested we ask the Elfin Elder. So, we should go to the Hidden Elf Kingdom of Dior. It's in Lamp Bloom Woods. Glad you're doing fine, Kerr. Anyway, let's get the little cactus here. Sadly, we cannot dash the little cactus against the rocks, even though Chad, I'm sure, would love it. Said he will just be banished from the screen. <laughs> Foul beast, says Chris. Classes. Oh, you want to wait? That's okay. I'm on the Come on. I haven't decided if I want to just complete Trials of Mana, quote unquote, by beating the game as, uh,. Reese or Hawkeye as the protagonist. I haven't decided. I'm having more fun now that I'm clipping out. I love re-exploring by clipping out. So it's like, even though I'm going through the same dungeon, I'm not approaching it the same way. I guess hypothetically, Chad, if we did play again and I had to play as Hawkeye or Reese and, or technically both, what would Chad's dream team be? Because now you've officially seen basically all the characters on stream. What? What was that? D did I seriously get stuck there? That blew my mind. I was like, I'm like, I, dude, are you gonna make me jump that little bit? Really? Okay. Thank you. 
Yeah, so she's just basic. So if we were playing normal mode, she actually would have been one-shotting these. That's pretty silly. need anything in particular here. I'll just move on. Oh, I took damage there. Unfortunate. Yeah, the moment we get class upgrade to the game is completely, completely over. So every time she gets a kill here, she gets MP. That's kind of funny. Oh, it's not even per battle. It's literally per kill. Oh, that's kind of funny. So if I just melee with her, she can end with a lot of MP. Interesting. Welcome, Edward Dinkma. Hope you're doing well. I'm not gonna lie, when I did that jump slash, I almost thought I was gonna flip out of bounds or something weird. <laughs> you never know with this game. You never know. I mean, would have chat been surprised if I clipped out of bounds there? I don't think I care about any of those. Welcome. Leaving at the inn is free, so I might as well ask. I guess I'll do the post game at least with this character. I'll think about how much further I want to take it beyond that. I guess I could show off something if Chad is interested as well. I believe there's a bonus boss that I've been purposely not doing. It technically existed in the SNES version, but only for certain character paths. Kirk says I would not have been surprised. Otherwise, Chan, if you want to see your dream team played, I could try to play them later. I love them trying to explain the plot. I'm like, listen, we, we just heard the plot. We don't need to hear another character repeat the plot. We're good. Oh, the bees, chat. The bees are actually horrific. Another revive item is nice. What am I doing in terms of resources? 34 chocolate, 69 candy, 33 cups of wishes. We still have an okay amount of other buffs. It's not too bad then. I'm on the Come on. These plants are dusk moon vine. My powers can unseal the path. New path has appeared. Yeah, the problem is like the AI using random spell actually makes that ability that is normally really broken just kind of mediocre. It's kind of unfortunate. And again, that's kind of the AI problem. If this was a Tails game, you would have been able to disable the spells you don't want them to use. Do you know what I mean? A little disappointing that way. Next. 
<laughs> evil gated the mushroom. Did oh. I hate that that leaps at enemies. I really do, chat. I actually just want him to activate it where he's standing. I keep forgetting he's... Unlike Kevin, where he uses it in place, this guy has to leave. So unfortunate. I got spoiled by much better class strikes on the other character. I CC double kill. I'm mostly just looking to hit 31 with two characters and then we'll avoid combat. I don't really have any need for additional points. We're max in there. I'm max strength already. I could teach myself healing light if I want to. Think about it. Sadly, we can't go through the very obvious path until later. See, that was a good move. I hit four enemies with that. I was gonna say, what, what's this? Oh, there is a path up there. Can I clip up there? That doesn't look like there's a good ledge for this. Unless this counts. No, it sucks me in words. Oh man, chat, they thought about it. Unless I could clip off of this. Oh, I can't. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Take that intended directions. Your path is a mere suggestion before me. I don't have to take it. I'm like, wait a minute, the tree's a good angle. This enemy is unironically the worst. I really don't like this enemy. It attacks very quickly compared to the other ones. So it's very hard to get the perfect victory. You can see our AI is almost dead too. Is she gonna heal us or no? No? There we go. Very late, literally. Take the side path here just to check the item. Let's go back the intended way. So we're in Lamp Bloom Woods number two. I'm gonna do this just to stun lock them. Perfect. Oh, triple kill. That was well done. There it is. I was gonna say, I feel like there was one right before the village entrance.
of the game explaining the different elemental systems. Technically, I could always make it... Actually, you know what? That's kind of unfair when I think about it. If we focus on light magic, we could just make it always daytime so she always does more damage. I guess that is the point of the day-night herb, just to do more damage. It's probably not a big damage difference, but... Could abuse that, potentially. So sadly, she can't do an Eclipse, so... Eek chat. Nobody will talk to us until we find the mayor, so there's no point to even discussing with the NPCs, or else we just get stuff like this. Lots of money is good. I was gonna say, you're around here somewhere. There we are. So we're already almost at the discover find treasure boxes and cactus sightings. Just fine, we don't need it. We've beaten the game before. What's with this padlock? remember. You were very young when you were taken to Wendell. <laughs> I should not be surprised. Oh! Are you the Elfin Elder? How did you get here? I hope that nothing dire has happened to his eminence, the Priest of Light. In truth, I cannot imagine he would allow you to travel this far without reason. Oh, you are the ones chosen by Fairy herself. When the Priest of Light put up a barrier to protect Holy City Wendell, he used forbidden magic that came with a terrible curse. Now he has fallen to an incurable illness. Hmm, I see. I did not think I would ever hear tell of the Priest of Light again. It must be Laron and Shayla's will from the world beyond. Papa and Mama? Yes, my child. Dividing their families caused Laron and Shayla much pain. Humans and elves are forbidden to marry. His eminence and I were against the union, afraid that it would shorten their lifespans. But their love was more important to them than our laws. Shayla left Dior and eloped with Laurent. Once I saw their happiness, I reluctantly relented. After a time, they had you, Charlotte. Though they departed this world thereafter, your parents did not regret their decision. To assuage his guilty conscience for abandoning his son, his eminence swore to raise you, his granddaughter, in Laurent's place. That is when you left Dior for the Temple of Light. And to avoid future tragedy, I sealed Dior away from humans. We too agreed that only elves were to know where to find this settlement. <laughs> Papa! Mama! <laughs> Leave her be. Regarding the issue of his eminence's illness, I'm afraid 
There is nothing I can do with the mana of the world so depleted. <sighs> In the end, sounds like our only hope is to get the Sword of Mana and ask the Goddess of Mana to heal him. Sir, Barry is helping us to find the Elementals so that we can open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Can you please tell us where we can find the Woodstone? Hmm. There is a mana statue in the northwest of Lampbloom Woods. If you borrow Luna's moon powers at night, the Lampblooms should let you through. Charlotte! would laugh at how dumb I'm being. We gotta get that mana sword so I can save Heath and Grandpa. Until then, I won't cry anymore. I won't. I'm doing fine. Wee wee. Now let's go find the vast elemental. Thanks for everything, Mr. Elder. You have grown so much, Charlotte. Best of luck. Hmm. Okay, well, onwards we go, I guess, Chad. I was gonna say, I, I, I would doubt too that, quote, she has grown so much. <laughs> You've grown three millimeters. That's a lot here. Okay, so they talk about the tragic death of her family. With the life shortening magic. Again, I activate that from like a million, <laughs> a million yards away. And a bunch of people out there in the world, dwarfs, beastmen, catfolk, elves. <laughs> I was almost expecting him to go, we gotta kill them all. That's fine. Check out the weapons store. I doubt anything new is here. Welcome. Take a look. Oh, actually, there is. Uh, I'll buy it. I'll make use of this. Always good to have a spare. Ooh, exciting. We have enough money that I don't think this matters. So, you know, we lost about 10,000, but now we have pretty good damage. And I don't really need more armor upgrades at all for pretty much ever, technically. We saw we didn't need it at all in normal mode. I could have beaten the game on base armor if I wanted to. I'm just hoping this will curb some of the one shots specifically. Horrible fate for elves and humans in love. It's so sad. For now, we should head to the mana statue. I mean, we seem to be doing quite a bit more on the power strike. So that's nice. Bye. Okay, we've had enough combat for a while. <laughs> right, chat? Bye. Oh, this must be the mana statue the elder mentioned. Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen this plant. But it smells divine. I believe this is the path you seek. There you are. Would it be all right for me to take one of these flowers with me? <sighs> I do so love the smell. Sadly, that mana statue wasn't a full cure, which is a bit unfortunate. Wow, there are so many enemies. I'm not interested in any of these fights, for sure.
Hmm. I just don't feel like the beads are really worth fighting. Let's see, save over that. I'm gonna check one thing in my notes. Okay, I think there is, okay. There we go, good thing I checked my notes. I was like, I thought there was a cactus here, just wanted to double check. I was right there. Anyway, let's proceed. Oh boy, we go straight into this, huh? This fight was a nightmare last time. They just refused to attack this boss properly. They both almost dead. Don't worry. Or, well, maybe you should worry. Yeah, maybe I should worry. Can you please dodge an attack? But this is a monster. It's a lot bigger than defeat it first, and we can figure out what's wrong later. Oh, I got stuck rolling. That sucks. He didn't do the power strike. He just kind of slid into it. That was awkward. That could have been much worse. Ooh, it doesn't target the body properly. What I'm gonna do is use this on you. Make you heal. And we're gonna walnut her. I need to buy more walnuts, I think. Or, you know, this thing will just be not targetable. That's fine. On the plus side, she's actually dealing pretty good damage to the boss, despite not having weakness. Like, she's actually saving a lot of time here, surprisingly. If I could get her to target it properly. Because I can't really do anything as a melee character here. game what is with this targeting system so yeah, we're gonna buy some fairy walnuts on the way out i think can i not target its head also what's with that projectile floating in the air what are they doing you know I tried dodging with her, but she like dodged into it. That's not my fault. I swapped her and she was mid-roll. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot, chat. Okay. 
Stop using Evil Gate. It's so much worse than Lucent Beam. Game, please. You're actually trolling me. Reminder chat. Like, every time she switches elements, we do less damage. So the game is actively making it harder for me to damage. Come on, stop that. Oh, that doesn't stun bosses? Good to know. I thought it did. Anyway, this boss fight's almost done, at least. Why can I not target the head? Oh, you're just being goofy with me? That's fine. Yeah, like, you can see that she's doing, like, way more damage than what we could do. So the fight, I think, is going faster, even with the menu pauses. And she killed the boss because she got MP. I don't know how they got Durin killed. That's honestly impressive. Remember, Chad, he has like 100 more health than everybody and more defense. I mean, I was doing fine. So the AI was bad. I had to take control of them again. But at least we got through it. True Dryad, I don't tend on using your magic ever. You're the wood elemental. You're the most in touch with mana power. Oh, Angela, such a liar. Besides, you're still strong after getting stuck inside that weird plant monster. You'll definitely be able to help us. We need you. Are you certain? Yes! Come with us, Dryad! We need you. We don't need her. Thank you. You're too kind. And I don't deserve it. But I will do my best to help you all. Wiggly and sad, says Chan. Elemental, right? Let's hurry, Copper Busca. <laughs> so that we can get a right to Oblivion. We don't have much time left. This is probably our last chance. Uh, what's Oblivile? Oblivile is the island where mana energy from all corners of the world converges. In the past, when the magic used to control the mana stones was sealed away, the whereabouts of Oblivile were erased from everyone's memories to further protect the world. Oh, but don't worry, it's still there. When I used the last of the mana power in the Sanctuary to get to this world, I appeared in the sky above that island. Okay, let's hurry. Like Poison Bubble, Wall, Leaf Saber, literally not ever going to use any of these. I'm thinking, Chad, if we do another game playthrough, just to showcase all the bosses. I think I will go ninja with Hawkeye. I'm on the job. Come on. And then technically we could go light with Reese, even though I think dark Reese is probably better. Just to showcase new things. 
I don't know who the third player would be. That would be more chat discretion. Since they can handle basically everything themselves. And honestly, I never really found the elemental sabers all that interesting. I think like by the time you get the ones that are good, you get it on like one boss. Whereas like the buffs and debuffs are just immediately useful. You know what I mean, chat? I am getting comboed by them. Get off of me, please. Like, look at that. S stop that. The beads are awful, Chad. Stop that. I feel like I could barely react to that. Like, they just kind of move back and instantly attack. I'm gonna go back and heal. Ooh. Um... Can I clip off of this and go sideways? Game, please. Game, please. I'm not doing it too slow. Game, please. But now I did it too fast. Okay, so I can't clip up there. Oh, that's annoying. I gotta go this way. Well, we're gonna go back and heal because those bees just do way too much damage. I I don't really get why they're like that. Our AI has no idea how to dodge it, so they'll just get hit every time they attack. <laughs> Given that they could do that ability twice and kill an ally. Kinda not interested in fighting them. So we'll save up our remaining points for the next class level. I don't think I really need anything. Technically, I could be losing damage with Charlotte if I don't give her strength, but... Does it super matter? I actually just really don't want to give strength up to Angela, because I don't want to teach her new spells. Honestly, I think just having light and dark is good enough. I'm kind of sad it got mixed with ice there. I'd kind of rather it didn't. Sure, you know what? I'll get him closer to uh, healing late. Um. Sure, let's. Uh, well, we could give her some strength ups, maybe. Maybe. It's just free damage, I guess. <laughs> Again, she said to please don't die mode. Which, to be fair, is a good mood to put her in. Actually... Yeah, I don't think I want anything else there. Oh, oops. I made the same mistake last time, I think. Need to go this way. It's up to chat though. Technically, we only need Hawkeye or Reese. I mean, if you want both, we could play him again. Come on. Let's help each other. If we pick Kevin, it would literally be the same team as last time. There's nothing wrong with it. Just kind of amusing. Be careful. This could get over. <laughs> Let's see. So if team wanted a oops all mages or all melee or whatever. I was planning on doing ninja though. I thought about it last time. Oh, there we go. Glitched him. Look at him go, chat. Maybe it's because Angela is the protagonist. She behaves correctly, but if I do it as the other characters, it glitches. Maybe that's how that works. I guess they never thought about you not using your protagonist, question mark. Seems like kind of a big oversight, to be honest. Oh, I was gonna say, how was it not letting me disembark? <laughs> Don't really need Durin, damn. Truth, though. Hard truth.
We made it this far. Come on, open up the portal to the sanctuary. for everything. I never could have attempted to open the portal all on my own. Mana has continued to weaken throughout our journey. But I think I can still manage with what remains of my strength. Oh, I'll give it a try. Elementals, lend me your powers! Time to show my stuff. Don't you worry, sister. You got this. You hear? <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I won't hold back. We won't be defeated. Here goes. I give you all of my dark. Here we go! Oh, I forgot to clip the Niarg. Oh, that's what I made the save for. We have. I apologize that this is all I can do. I only hope that it will help. <sighs> My bad, Chad. I gotta get the Rarg at some point. We'll get another chance. Don't worry. Next time, you'll definitely get it. Try again? Curses. So close. Come on. You can do it. Don't give up now. Mm, well, it didn't work that time. But don't let it get to you. I've got your back. Come on. Try again. Thank you, everyone. Mana has grown weaker than I expected. <sighs> the portal won't get any larger. Okay, I'll try one more time. Please, Goddess of Mana, help us! Worried for a moment there, but you did it! I knew you had it in you, fairy. <sighs> no! That wasn't me! The portal opened on its own! Oh, the mana stones must have been activated! They're giving off too much energy! Oh, it combined with the powers of the other elementals. And created that huge portal in the sky. Oh, man, it's too high up for us to reach. What? Does this mean that Altena succeeded? Activate the mana stones with 
the forbidden magic alone. Thank you so much for releasing enough mana energy. Now Altaina's flying battleship, Gigantress, will begin the invasion of the Sanctuary of Mana. Please accept this gift with our warmest regards. <laughs> Right, we do the world basically. We're bad at our jobs. Your Majesty, beast men subjects. Now is the time to invade the sanctuary of mana. Once you get the sword of mana, the human world will tremble at your feet. You can create a beast man utopia. <laughs> Does that sound equitable, your furry majesty? Hmm. Proceed with your plan. Yes, sire. Now then. Guards! <laughs> We're off to the front line. Malokio? What is it? They have opened the portal to the sanctuary. Are you prepared? You forget to whom you speak. Of the two of us, you are the one who is late. Now, what news do you have of his dark majesty? He used the last of his essence to bring the dark stone back from Mavolia and into this realm. His dark majesty has perished. Then it is proceeding as he planned. I have prepared the vessel that will bring us through the portal and into the sanctuary of mana. Let us cast off. Once we have the mana sword, we can easily revive his dark majesty. With his dark powers, we can transform this realm into Mavolia itself. We cannot fail in this mission or his majesty will be lost forever. The whole balloon thing with the ship gets me every time. Just so likable. Yeah, she definitely is the worst personality in the game. It makes her hard to listen to. Not that there's 
Like, her voice acting is okay, but man, her, her character is just so severely unlikable. Look at this glitching out. Yeah, that is a huge oversight. Look at that. Oops. How did they not fix- like, did they just not find that out? Feels like that would be a fairly easy fix, I'm just saying. Like, we played the game... ...a little bit, and we learned everything we needed. I'm curious if I have another save with, uh, the other file. Well, some I have to replay the game to get the voice clip, which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna take a save here and double check. So we're gonna go back up to the peak. We're gonna check the save files. I mean, at least if I were to like replay it on beginner, it should go really fast. So I'm gonna be skipping all cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> For my own sanity, I'm not sitting through those cutscenes. I'll probably pick like a really broken melee team, like Hulk, Durin, Kevin, or some BS. What about the slaps? I don't think that would transfer well into a sound effect. Uh, I didn't really want these items. Yeah, I think that was after. That's unfortunate. I think I had made a save here and then moved down here. I think that's what I did last time. So yeah, I'd have to replay the game. That's kind of far in the game. I mean, I'll still do it, but it's... I'm not sure when I'll do it. Sadly, I can't just go back to, like, another file. <laughs> Come again. That's a downside of having all the saves in a row. Not in the order that you save them. Or having, like, multiple memory cards. Because then I would have avoided that issue by just putting it on a different memory card. Someone in Laurent might know about Celestial Peak. My mother might have been on that ship. Hurry! Just curious. Ah. Uh. Oh, he did act a little weird there. That's not what I was looking for there. I don't have time to see you I would have to go fight the door, I think, again, which would be quite something. Look at us. We Walls. <laughs> Walls are merely a suggestion. Oh, I gotta do it from here. Um... Him, please. How did the... he like lunged into the wall there? That was interesting. Not what I wanted. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, we found a way up there. Okay, I'm happy we found an alternative. But can I do something like almost? Why won't it let me up there? Chat, don't you think I should be able to stand on that? Like, that's insane that I can't stand on that. Actual insanity. And there's this weird little gap here. I'm not really sure why it behaves that way. It's stopping me from melee attacking, though, for some reason. Come on. Stop feeding my melee input, please. Again, like, I'm technically hovering off the ground here. That's why it's acting weird. Like, see how he fell there? Like, the floor is definitely not correct here. It's causing me to not be able to do my lunge strike. Come on. It's not working with me. Unfortunate. I'll try right here. Oh, I almost thought I clipped it to the floor versus the day-night cycle. Oh well, I still don't know how to get through that one. But at least I know how to shortcut up there. With a maybe intended jump? Probably not though. <laughs> I 
Walls are a lie, says Chad. Pretty much. We... I do think Charlotte's a lot better in this one than the SNES version. I think it's mostly because her class strike provides something that the other characters don't get. Where in the other one, she's just weak. Like, she had AoE healing, which is okay. But the problem is, like, enemy damage was so high that healing didn't really matter if we were underleveled. You wish to find a winged defender? I understand your predicament. I will unblock the path. However, the winged defender is the protector of the Laurent Mountains. It is said that he only appears for us Amazons. Proceed onwards. Upwards we go, chat. Actually. I want to try one thing here. I doubt it'll work, but I want to try one thing. Need to get you anyway. I'm curious about one thing. Now that the gate is open, can I do anything weird with it? here. Oh well. I was just curious. This area is pretty vertical. I'm kind of curious how much of it I can skip. Please just use the chest when I hit the use button. Thank you. Be careful. This could be gone. <laughs> Bye. Mm. Get out of my way before I break you. <laughs> Retreat. Grab one of these. Can you imagine? Just clip out of bounds, just shoot into the space. I don't have time for this. Something like this, maybe. She's actually chanting spells. Good job, AI. I mean, I wish she didn't alternate them because that makes her do less damage, but you know. At least for normal clear, it's fine. For boss clear, I think I have to take manual control of her. AI just cannot play her properly, sadly. I almost didn't make that jump, but then I had to attack there. So we're doing semi intended tech to stall. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think there's anywhere I could really zip. Unless I did something like that. Most of the time it doesn't seem worth setting up the zip. Also, what's going on with this floor? Why why can I put so much of my head in here? Look at that. Huh, that seems really glitchy. Okay, 
Okay, no no little shortcut straight to heaven. That's fair. I only want blue meter there. Yeah, I was curious in a couple places if I just went orbital. Oh, remember this? We meet again, harpies. Too far away from leveling. Don't blow it. Got it. Oh, I got hit by this spell. That's unfortunate. I was about to heal, and then I saw this was here. Never mind, not needed. Oh, I can hit him out of the tornado. That's interesting. I wasn't sure if I could or not. Power attacks do seem to stop it. Well, upwards we go, I guess. Kind of funny that I'm playing an elemental mage and I'm just using three elements and I prefer to only have two light and dark in case they resist one. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. It's too small to defend much of anything. We now have our main method of transportation. Sorry, Vuskov. There's literally no reason to use you once we have this. They're all sleeping. These are the forces that entered the sanctuary before us. They destroyed each other. It's awful. Sanctuary of Mana. At this rate, the people who went in first are going to get the mana sword. Let's find that sword quick. We have to get it first. My mother might never acknowledge me. Wait, she still cares, cares about her mother's opinion? She just tried to sacrifice you. Why do you even care? But anyway, I do think the music in the remake is pretty good. We, we, we've talked about the voice acting. The voice acting is, hmm. It's best described as, hmm. Did she use dark magic on the werewolf? That's a waste. 
Their weakness is light, for clarity. She she has four spells. Two of them are the element she needs to pick. She still chose poorly. Is there any way to, like, super clip out of bounds here? I always was curious about this, because it seems like... It seems like you should be able to clip out of bounds, but I'm not sure where we can clip out of bounds. Now he's not gonna cooperate, because of course. Nope. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I could somehow roll where I'm not supposed to go here, I could go out of bounds. Or if there's a way to... Wait, what am I stuck on? Whoa, what is this invisible wall? What's... What's this? Do you see the game acting weird? What is this? What? <laughs> what? Oh, there, there is a... What is going on with this invisible wall? Hello? Can I go out of bounds on this? Like, what is this? I, like, I just magically can't... What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> but she's not she's not standing on anything. Wait. What? What is <laughs> what is happening? What is this wall? Angela has mastered the art of levitation. Her feet are literally not near anything. So there's like an invisible wall I can stand on for some reason. Can I clip out of bounds on the invisible wall here? Like what is this? Like, how would you describe what I'm standing on, chat? Like, this is just nonsense. Why is he not doing his little wall jump? I just want to see. Yeah, it feels like maybe there's supposed to be a rock here. Like, can I use this to zip? I mean, I could sort of do it. Hmm. I mean, I feel like, exp like, this is the kind of thing, like, there's technically an area in front of me I can walk to. Like, is it possible that I could clip completely out of bounds here? Because there's clearly something that's not supposed to be here that is here. I'm just curious. I wish he would just do his damn dash attack so I could check it real quick. But he's, like, refusing to. I don't know why he's refusing to. Come on. Come on. He is so stubborn. Is it because he's technically moving he can't dash attack? Is that why? It's just being very finicky with me. Because there's a couple points where I think I could clip out of bounds. Hmm. Also, oh, pff, uh, oops. Then they forgot to put walls here. Charlotte just sinks into the abyss real quick. I like how they leap. Like, they think something's there, but it's not. So clearly they programmed the AI to react to whatever is not there. Oh, oh we really need to learn how to clip out of bounds here. I'm tempted to look something up. Uh, this area is very oddly coded. We, Oh, I don't want to find any of that. No, thanks. No thanks. Oh, I thought we killed everything. That is an ultra dead enemy. It's almost like if I could get it to line up with whatever the game, please. Whatever I could do to make it line up with the invisible wall over there, maybe I could do it. Hmm. The problem is, like, where on this giant wall do I potentially go to bounds is the question. Oh, 
Hmm. It's also weird that I can't step on that rock. So... Hmm. I don't know, Chad. I kind of feel like investigating this rather than continuing the plot. I'm, I'm on the fence. At least I want to heal, if nothing else. It's like, plot, plot can wait. <laughs> I'm just curious, because there's so many weird things happening here. It's like, what is going on with the terrain in this area? Like, see how they're jumping on stuff that isn't there? Or is this actually here? Oh, this is here. Hmm... Yeah, this rock in particular is very weird. I'm assuming that's what it was supposed to be. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> like, she's just... She's not remotely touching anything, but it's still here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How high up... Wait. How high up is that wall that I can't jump that? That's crazy. Can I take advantage of this not supposedly, like, being in the right place? Can I, like, actually clip out with this? Like, can I get ultra hype by doing this? Unless he doesn't attack. No, he just kind of slides up. Hmm. Because I've always wondered with the terrain being so close to this... Like, if it was possible to do something like... And do, like, a little tumble afterwards. But weirdly, I think I get more height from this invisible rock than anywhere else. So, like, for example, is it possible to do this? No. I'm trying to think, like, where the high points are. Because that's usually how you go to out of bounds. You go to, like, the high point and jump to a low point. It's possible I could clip out of bounds over here. I haven't even tried. Honestly, the terrain near the river is so weird. Whoa, what was that? So there's kind of like a wall here. You know, like a triangle shape. Maybe I could get wedged on it again. Hmm. It's like so close. I do feel like you probably can clip out of bounds here. I'm just trying to figure out, like, where we could do it. There's so many invisible walls that I, it's hard to judge where I should be able to clip. Like, I might not be able to clip here, for example. Hmm. But you know what, chat? Let me take a small break. I have to go refill my water anyway. We'll try for, like, a couple more minutes and see if magic happens. But, uh, be right back. <laughs> 